you, every sentient life form, are eternally one with God. There is no separation, even though your everyday experience enclosed within human bodies strongly indicates the opposite. There is only God, as we in the spiritual realms keep on reminding you, as we keep on drawing your attention to this unalterable truth, and He is our divine source, who is love, the energy field in which all that exists is eternally present. What you experience as humans are dreams and nightmares, but due to your choice to awaken, you are moving away from nightmares towards pleasant dreams, and it is from these that you will awaken into the bliss that God's eternal presence constantly provides. There is nowhere apart from the presence of God. You just chose to imagine an utterly different form of existence, an impossible state in which love was lacking. Therefore you closed your minds to the love that envelops and embraces you in every moment by drawing an imaginary cloak or veil over your awareness, much as a small child on putting its hands in front of its face believes that all that it could see has now been removed. Your awakening is a withdrawing of your collective hands from in front of your faces to let in the light that is eternally present. You have already decided, collectively, to do that, and so your awakening is assured. You have to remember that you are free. That means that God will not interfere with or override any choices that you make, even if those choices bring you intense suffering. That may sound as though He does not care about your well-being, but of course your well-being has been assured and taken care of since the moment of your creation. As you know so well, anything that is not in total alignment with love is unreal. However, when you chose to experience separation from love by entering into the illusion, you closed your awareness and experienced what appeared to be abandonment in a strange and frequently hostile environment. It was an environment in which there were a multitude of life forms, some of which threatened and attacked you, sometimes causing you great pain as they killed you. It was indeed a terrifying place in which you found yourselves. Sometimes you formed groups for mutual support and protection, and when you felt strong enough you would attack other groups to steal from them, their land, their food, their possessions, or to totally subjugate them. And as your history shows you, that is still occurring. Nevertheless, you have made the collective decision to awaken, and the signs of that momentous decision can be seen all across the world as ever-increasing numbers of you realize that the old ways do not work never have worked, and that the only way forwards is by being the love and the peace that you want to see in the world. You cannot make others loving and peaceful, however forcefully you attempt to do so, free will not only operates between you and God, but also between each one of you. It is a divine gift that each and every one of you possess, and although you can intimidate and subjugate another by force of arms, you cannot override their free will. Peace can only occur when all cooperate in loving harmony to achieve the most favorable results for all involved. That realization has now dawned on so many who are now living it that it will come to pass. There is no one on earth who does not want a loving and peaceful life. Before now the fear of pain and suffering that others might inflict on you, barbarians or savages, and in the present age, terrorists, led you to build defenses and armaments to protect yourselves. But because your distrust of one another was so great, you then used your weapons for preemptive strikes to destroy or subjugate the others before they did it to you. Your increasing general awareness that this can never work is leading you forwards towards the moment when you all, one by one as individuals, will formally resolve never again to take up arms against anyone for any reason. At present that idea still seems insane to many because history has also shown you that when groups did that, they were inevitably overrun by those who would steal their territory and subjugate them. However, the tsunami of love that envelops and embraces the planet is changing that. Many who have fought in wars, and many who are doing so presently, are becoming acutely aware of the absolute insanity of believing that by destroying others, peace can be established on Earth. You have never had peace on Earth. But now it is to come about. Those who live in fear, and there are many of them, will be most vociferously opposed to any laying down of arms, but the vast majority on the planet truly want just that to happen. 
Consequently most of the fearful ones will be overwhelmed by the love that is invading their personal energy fields from so many directions, and they will release their emotional hold on fear. Those who choose to hold on to their fears may well become even louder in their objections, producing all kinds of unloving and violent arguments to persuade you that to go down the path of love is insane and will be catastrophic for humanity. I can assure you that this will not be the case. You are, each and every one of you, inseparable aspects of the divine energy field of love in which all exists. Love is your nature, and it will be seen and experienced, personally. Those who, despite all the love invading their individual energy fields, continue their resistance, will find themselves in an environment that suits their beliefs and fears until they too are ready to accept the love that is offered to them ceaselessly in every moment of their lives. No one has been abandoned, and no one will remain forever asleep. Humanity is to awaken. It is God's will, and the will of humanity that you do so, and as you can see, if you pay attention and choose to see, the effects of the tsunami of love are evident all across the world, dissolving barriers and enmities everywhere. So, keep holding your light on high and bring it on.